Good morning. Sunday morning. Happy Sunday. Welcome to Z Education and welcome to another episode of You Laugh, You Lose. If you are new to this channel and new to this series, the game is simple. If you laugh at anything today, you lose and you have to do a punishment. What is today's punishment? Today's punishment is simple. You have to watch last Tuesday's debate on 0.5 speed. Enjoy. Okay, that's that's your punishment. That's what you got to do. So if you accept the terms of today's game, head down and like this video. And if you are new here, please make sure you are subscribed and have the bell click for notifications when new videos are uploaded. Now on to today's game. If you laugh, you lose, go. Due to current food prices, the three second rule has been extended to 8.3 seconds. It has. I don't know if you guys are in the loop on this or not. It may add a higher risk of a bacterial infection, but guys, prices, we can't handle this. Okay? Hot surface do not touch with Braille. <laughs> I mean, in case they do touch it, but if they did touch it, do they need to read it? Because they would feel it that it's hot and they don't need to have a sign tell them in Braille that they need to get their hand off. It's hot. They're going to get their hand off. This looks real. This is, oh, dude, it's stupid. The best birthday surprise ever. Is that supposed to be an apple? A peach? Happy birthday, iPhone. <laughs> it's a... Dumb. Dumb, dumb, dumb messed up actually is that the same guy from last year yep we should be good <laughs> yeah they, they're on some private land you know they're good if you're on public though little bucky little doe eh, depends on the year we used to be a proper country egg salad machine can you imagine being that salesman going around the country trying to sell egg salad machines what a job <laughs> The three-year-old bag of frozen peas in my freezer watching me grab pizza rolls again. Here's your reminder. Clean out your freezer. I know you have the frozen fruit. Maybe not the fruit. Maybe the veggies, though. For sure, the veggies. They've been in there for a long time. Just wasting space. Throw them away. Make the space. Make the room for your, uh, your Reese's Pieces. Halloween's coming up. A lot of room you need for those Reese's Pieces in the freezer. Mom, there's plenty of fish in the sea. The fish, <laughs> the sea. <laughs> hey, this you guys, you're in the Dayton world. You know what? Just got to keep putting yourself out there, man. It sucks, but you never know. There could be someone in the same position as you, right? Imagine being able to fly, but also being so inconsiderate that you stop traffic to walk across the street. <laughs> well, to, to be fair here, those small little geese can't fly it, okay? But it would be it would be better if it was just you saw the flock of geese, because that happens too. With the geese they can fly. It's called entitlement. You see it all the time. It's a me, Melario. The the funny part in my head right now, because this is really that is so dumb. That is a bad meme. The funny part is that someone thought this was funny enough to sit and take time to make a meme. <laughs> So maybe it is funny. I don't know. I, I'm all mixed up on this one. This, <laughs> it's a me, Melario. No. Toilet out of order. Please use floor below. <laughs> you might want to rephrase that because if someone's taking that sign literally, you might have another mess to clean up. Okay? So maybe you do mean it that way. Turn your work day into a half day with this simple trick. Life hack. There you go. It will, I mean, you might actually turn it into a week, maybe a couple weeks, depending on the charges you get. Unless you're the guy in the White House. You guys remember that? The guy in the White House did that. Uh, Bowman, I think his name was. He got primaried out. Pulled the fire alarm in the middle of a vote or something like that. And nothing happened to him. And, well, he got primaried, so I guess that happened to him. Inflation is due to greedy price gouging. Did the people who print trillions of dollars tell you that? It's, it's, it's hard for the small mind to grasp the idea that government running deficits and printing off all of this fake money causes inflation, which is it does. But blame it on someone else. 
obviously. Everyone who doesn't like me is racist and sexist. A child's guide to identity politics. The cancer of the country, identity politics. Pitting people against each other to try and get votes. That's what politicians do. It's disgusting. Specifically, uh, her campaign. Don't homeschool your kids. They'll be weird. 1995. Kids in public school identifying as barn animals. 2023. Yeah, this is happening in, into 2024. It's, it's kind of flipped. If you want your kid to be somewhat normal, you have to really be picky about what school they go to, public school. Um, but most public schools, they do what they're, you know, the state boards tell them to do. Here in Minnesota, a lot of weird stuff that happens. So, yeah, you, got, you run your kid, the risk of your kid being a weirdo going to public school. The, the risk is higher. You got the kids running around with tails call themselves furry. That's a truth. That's real. I thought that was fake. It's real. Me watching the vegan couple next door argue about the Big Mac wrapper that I toss into the back seat of their car. <laughs> That's diabolical. Absolutely diabolical. And I, yeah, I applaud you. <laughs> the most accurate 10 year challenge. So that is, that's me. I haven't been to the eye doctor yet. Maybe we'll have to make that a, punishments this one's hitting hard man i feel like i'm about to go through a midlife crisis because of this let's get let's move on before i get too depressed interviewer i see a gap in your resume what were you doing in 2020 me looking for toilet paper weird time it's not a time we all like to think about i feel like we almost we should all look back at that time in shame and what we just let happen around us all of us some of us participated in it. This is weird. The toilet paper thing, especially. My husband just bought a new putter, which means I get to go online shopping for an equal or greater value. I don't make the rules. Ooh, boys, 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 boys. Either keep it a secret or lie about the price. Those are your only two options. Not get it is not an option. You got to get the putter. Jimmy Fallon. So I heard you were on vacation recently. Celeb. Yeah, I... Jimmy Fallon. That guy... I think he's on that show because of his ability to fake laugh. He laughs over the dumbest things. It's actually crazy. It's like, dude, I, we get it. It's entertainment. You're you're putting on a show here. But that wasn't even close to funny. Why are you laughing? You on drugs? No offense. I, I mean, but that's an honest question. If you take a social media sabbatical, don't announce it. Just make your last post something fun like, I wonder if there's a bear in this cave. <laughs> I love that idea. I, was, I haven't seen it for a while. I don't have a personal Facebook page, but people making their announcement like, I'm done with social media. See you guys. If you need me, call me. Just, yeah, just don't announce it. Just delete it. Just in case no one told you today, shut up. <laughs> I would never tell people to do that unless it's 8 a.m. and they're my coworker and I don't want to talk to them and it's a Monday morning and they're yapping away about their weekend getaway, which I don't care about. Shut up. Summer isn't over until September 22nd, so sit your pumpkin spice butts down for a while. <laughs> oh, that the pumpkin spice is out there, brother. They're, they're having it already. They're all getting hopped up on the pumpkin spice. Their eyes are turning blue, just like in that movie. Get the spice. It's true, dude. Get that crazy look in their eye. It's that time of year, man. Be careful. The zombies are out and about. Don't let them get you. I'm at the age now, I ride around and say, damn, when they build that. Not a joke, That that's me. Moving back to my, my hometown, driving around. It, it had been like, what? Long time. 10, over 10 years. I'm like, what the hell did that get there? Oh, I got here tw uh, 12 years ago. Eight years ago. Five years ago. I have no, I had no idea. I, and then I'll say stuff like, I remember that was a dirt road. I say that all the time. Number of rings since 1997. JLo 6, Dallas 0. Dak got the contract. Week after I said it. Look, I jinxed them in the positive direction. You're welcome, Dak. Uh, they won their first game. I imagine they'll win this week. Jinx, hopefully. Vikings want to know. So my daughter says you work in tech. Yes, sir. I created the food menu QR code. You have exactly 10 seconds to get the F out of my house. <laughs> Whoever created that, uh, you are a monster. 
You are a monster. And if you use that at your restaurant, shame on you. Spend a couple hundred bucks and print out some menus. It's not that much money. I used to work in the print world. A couple hundred bucks, get you some nice menus. Maybe another 100, 200 bucks, get them laminated so they don't, get all, they don't go bad. Stop making us use the QR codes. I hate those things. It's time for Hibbilly Horseshoes. Oh, hell yeah. Dude, I actually want to play this. Horseshoes is a fun game. Screw uh, bags. Horseshoes is where it's at. It's a real cowboy game. July 2024. Have you heard Biden's economy is booming? August 2024. Have you heard Kamala's going to fix the economy? <laughs> Dude, I love it. <laughs> It's funny every time because it's like, wait a minute, which is it? Are things amazing now or is Kamala going to fix it? If she's going to fix it, then things aren't amazing now. You can't play both. The The conundrum is beautiful. It's what, the mental pretzeling that these people are trying to get people to do. It's amazing. I just hate it backwards by telling the drive through lady that the car behind me is paying for my stuff. Try it next time. See what happens. Um, I don't think it's going to work, but they mu- it might work. My wife got her identity stolen, but the guy's spending less money, so I'm just going to let it ride. You're spending less money, man. Just, all right, whatever, dude. I get That's a win, isn't it? Kind of? Be nice to people, but don't lend them money. They won't pay back. I don't know. This is what Mr. Wonderful says. Love that guy. He says, people can ask you for money, and if you're able to, give it to them. And don't expect it back. But tell them they can never ask you for money ever again. That's it. I've never done that. But that's his advice. I think it's good advice. If you if you have a lot of money, it's not bad advice. I made a lot of mistakes in life. But I've never called this a taco in a bag. What? Dude. That's a taco in a bag. You guys don't call it a taco in a bag? That's a mistake. Get out of here, dude. A mistake? What are you talking about? It's like the ultimate easy hearty meal taco to make what else would you call it retail workers once mariah carey starts singing i feel like that would be the hardest part i mean retail i think retail workers they don't they don't get enough credit it's not an easy job because one you have to deal with people that sucks that really does suck and in retail it's not like service at the at a restaurant you're not getting tips you're just getting an earful of crap right And two, you have this problem. This is something they don't talk about. They have psychological damage from listening to the same station on repeat over and over, especially during holiday season. So retail workers, I love you guys, truly. Working up the courage to ask my wife what our plans are this weekend when I know she's already told me 15 times. I don't do that. I never do that. I always know what's happening. Can't blame sharks in these shark attacks. Imagine a bucket of fried chicken came skateboarding through your living room. What would you do? I would eat the chicken. Look at that. That looks delicious. Mmm. The hell? The chicken on the top right, does that not look like a freaking wizard or something? Am I, am I seeing stuff? Do you guys see it? See the eyeballs and the beard? Can you zoom in on that, Megan? On the top right? Top right chicken? You're eating that. You're eating the wizard. You're eating the chicken. Look at that. Sharks, they're going to do the same thing. Joy. (laughs) Crazily, a certain regime in the 1940s, 30s and 40s, they had a joy campaign. Seriously, that's a real thing. That's true. I had to look it up. Uh, Joy, that's that's the campaign. Joy. Be joyous. About what? These prices are, they're nuts. 14-year-old me after putting 69 at the end of every username and email I have. Be honest. How many of you are still using that email today? Into your 20s, 30s, maybe even your 40s. Don't lie. That's what I want to know. How many, what's the oldest email account that you're using? I have an email account that I I think maybe 12 years. And I should be using the other one, but I forgot the password. And that was made in 2004, I think. So walking barefoot on a dirty floor, walking barefoot outside on actual dirt. It is different. I don't know why, but it feels different when you're inside barefoot versus outside. Outside is acceptable. That's kind of, what are we, why is that? I identify as having a license. You can do that. Okay. 
try it. You can do it. I highly recommend watching this series after you finish The Office. <laughs> Did Deev make this meme? Dude, The Office cult. I'm telling you. This is what they do. Seriously, this is what they do. They finish The Office and they start watching it again. I remember when $200 in groceries had to go in the trunk. Now you can put them three bags in the passenger seat. You know? I can't even remember the last time I used the trunk or the, the tailgate as they call it on trucks for, uh, for groceries. When we go to Costco, you know, you got the diaper boxes and stuff like that. The purest example of good American values is when the diner makes too much milkshake and gives you the extra in a metal cup on the side. Dude, that is, oh man, I love this. If you have a restaurant, please keep doing this. That's good American values right there. I think I know one place that does that. I have not been there in a very long time. And it's not a chain place either. It's a, it's, it's a legit place. Stuntman on TV. Don't try this at home. Me sitting on couch eating out of a five pound bag of M&Ms. Okay. <laughs> uh, just a little, little handful will do you. Don't be doing that. Not good for you. Darlene, you and the youngin' stand sad. I'm driving the porch to get some coors and scratch offs. Oh hell yeah, going to get some curs in the in the porch. I freaking love this, dude. I really, I, I'm not even being, I'm being serious. You got a two for one there. Porch truck. You don't have to walk very far to get to the truck. Hell yeah, it looks like you can get through the back window maybe. Increase home prices by 150 thousand. Quadruple interest rates. Offer 25000 to fix the problem. <laughs> and hilariously, that won't fix a problem. That'll make it worse. When you increase demand, supply stays low, which means prices will stay high slash increase. As Ricky would say, basic supply and command. It's vice principles, man. There is a really good looking guy in my accounting class and his Insta was on private. So I sent a follow request during class and he looked over at me, then denied the request. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> Playing hard to get. She'll love that. She will. She'll request again. She will. When I accidentally close my 47 tabs, it's like the burning of the Library of Alexandria, but worse and much more dire. You had that one sitting open for like two months. It was a trip you guys were going to plan and you had it open because you couldn't remember the website because it took you forever to find it. And then you saved it on that open tab. And then two months later, you close the 47 tabs. Now you forgot it. Now you got to go through that whole process and find the tab again. Yeah, it is. It's terrible. You hate to see it. Landlord's getting ready for a new tenant. Mm, that's disgusting. You might want to, uh, as a tenant, look out for black mold. Look out for that water damage. You, know, you never know what you're breathing in. Boeing Starliner astronauts stranded in space for 80 days will not return home until 2025. Humanity has about six months to purchase 8 billion ape costumes for the ultimate prank. I'm on board. I'm on, I don't know about you guys. I am totally on board with this. I will help donate to the cause. I will do whatever I can to help this education audience uh, purchase costumes. We need to figure out, we need to spread this. We need to get this to every YouTube channel, every influencer on whatever platform they're on. We need to do this. This is an ultimate legendary. There will never be a better opportunity for a prank, prank ever. I mean, it's great. Me, as soon as the temperature drops to 65 degrees. <laughs> great photo. Uh, great jacket too. I'm pretty sure Deep had that one. Stop vegetarians before it's too late. We can't say this PSA enough, guys. They're eating the forests. They're ruining it. It's disgusting. What do you mean the band goes on at 9 p.m.? That's the middle of the night. Ugh. This is why we, we don't do a lot of that stuff, man. 9 p.m. Get out of here. It's even like a Sunday night football, Thursday night football, 7.20 Central Time. I can't even imagine being on the East, East Coast. I'll see half a quarter and be in bed. It's too late, man. Quit calling me birthday cake. Well... Quit giving everyone a piece. <laughs> Some people need to hear that, ma'am. So, well, it's no, stop shaming. Stop shaming. It's empowering. No, it's not. It's not empowering. It's not. It's actually, it's rather grotesque. Guys and girls doing that. It is. Me at work thinking of coffee is going to magically put me in a good mood. Look at that. 
It's a pumpkin spice zombie right there, man. Watch out for them. They're never in a good mood. In all my years of fishing, I am a firm believer that fish bite twice a day. Just before I get there and right after I leave. It's true. They can hear you coming. You got to be quiet. They can smell your scents. Put on a different cologne. Or maybe don't shower for a bit. Maybe they don't, you know. Maybe that stank. That stank will attract them. I like that stanky bait. A fisherman that gets his first deer. I hate that. Stop doing the, the fishing picks. While we're on it, uh, congratulations to Jake Cahi, by the way. We sponsor him uh, in the National Walleye Tour. He took sixth place in the championship, which is a very big deal. So congrats to him. Uh, he doesn't do this, though. He doesn't do that. BS Saloon. I'm so in debt, I could start a government. Oh, hey, that's not a bad idea. If you got a lot of debt, you could start a government. You just run a deficit. Never have to fix a problem. That's it. Kids aren't sitting around illegal bonfires in their local woods making memories with their friends anymore, and it shows. It's funny to me because I, I literally, going back to the, uh, you know, when did they build that meme? I literally just drove by the illegal place we would go to as kids, well, teenagers and into college, and showed my wife. I was like, that's it. That's right there. Back there. It's a secret. I'm not telling anyone. But so I told my wife. She knows, but no one else. Nothing worse than waking up on a Sunday morning and having to clean up the carnage left behind after another wild Saturday night. <laughs> Look at that carnage. This is like most parents out there. That's what it is, man. Sit up till 9 p.m. Shout out to people who rate and review things because I don't like to rate or review things, but I like to know how things are rated and reviewed. I don't care what things are rated and reviewed, truly. Unless it's uh, uh, like a movie or a book, then I'll then I'll kind of pay attention to the ratings because I don't want to waste my time. But if it's like a restaurant, it's like I want to I want to decide myself if the food is good or not. Maybe that's stupid of me, but I've never admitted this to anyone before. But the weight of it is killing me. That's me. I'm baby, and I've still not recovered from this. Probably never will. Poor kid, man. Poor kid. Hey, can you imagine the kids now though with Joe just picking up the baby and doing the old sniff? Like, can you imagine those babies, the trauma they got to go through now the rest of their lives? So it could always be worse, kid. When someone else gets my dark garbage humor and we can't stop laughing, you're just like me, trash. <laughs> You know, I wouldn't call uh, call it trash. But that's why I love you guys. We have similar senses of humor. <laughs> You're just like me. You think the, the memes are funny. You're laughing in a dark time. Stop doing that. The memes are too good, man. Remember that angry feminist? This is her today. Time flies, man. <laughs> time flies. <laughs> hey, look, I mean, you have, don't look a day older there. Angry feminist. There are two types of kids on the first day of school. And every house, if there's multiple kids, they have both types of kids. <laughs> every parent knows that. That's why, like, I, I'm excited when my girls get older to know which one is which. Because, like, it, you can't have two just golden children. It just never happens. Imagination level 100. My two-year-old drew a pillow with chalk, then laid down for a nap. That's amazing. Might wake up with a headache, but that's all right. She'll learn. I bet he's thinking about other women. <laughs> uh, poor Joe. Look at him. Poor bastard doesn't know what day it is. He's the president right now, you guys. They're like we, we haven't heard from him for a long time. What's going on there? How'd you do in today's video? Did you laugh at all? Because if you did, you lose. You got to watch last Tuesday's debate on 0.5 speed. Enjoy. Let me know how you did down in the comments. While you're down there, please like this video. Please help it get recommended to others. That's it for today's video. Until next time, I'm Tyler Zed, and this is Education. Tick-tack-toe. A winner. Idiots.